I, who's that? I said, you don't know Seymour Butts? Nope. Come on. It's a dad joke. Surrounded by dads. They didn't get it. But I think it's a dad joke, generationally speaking. So, like, if you're 28, by the way, this is 8, and you're a dad, you might not get the Seymour Butts thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but if you're, like, 40-something... Thank you, Stephen. Me, too. But if you're 40, 50-something, you're getting it. You know? It's important. You know what happened to me yesterday? I saw a video in the morning. It's a true story, John, or Sam, or whoever's listening. Probably nobody. Yeah, on Facebook, it was a little video. It was like a news thing about some dude who was in traffic uh, who looked up at his win at his uh, windshield inside and saw a big spider crawling there. And he freaked out, but he was driving. What's he going to do? Right. Wouldn't you know, same thing happened to me yesterday on the Garden State Parkway. Oh. So I squished the bug. Oh, hell yeah. And my wife says, why'd you kill it? What do you want me to do? She just could have let it out the car. I said, I'm driving. She goes, you don't live in a... This, it's not a tarantula. It's like, listen, there's no reason for a spider to be in my car right. when I'm driving. Could get into my coffee. I never told you a story. When I was working at, uh, at um, Rock Center, okay. I used to work at 30 Rock, uh, I think, or somewhere around there. I think it was 30 Rock. Um... You know, we were right by, you know, where they filmed the Today Show. So we were right above a few stores up from, um, I forget what restaurant was down, or Kosi or something. Okay. And, you know, they have, like, the pa the, the ceiling with the, the, the tiles. All of a sudden, it's out of the ceiling falls a roach yeah. right into this woman who worked for me, into her coffee. Oh. Luckily, she was looking. Because otherwise, you know, you wouldn't notice in your coffee, your black coffee, there's a black roach. Mm. Nasty. Yeah, in certain countries, though, like a roach is like, damn right, like J5, where you were, isn't that like a delicacy, a roach? Maybe, maybe not to you. All right, Doug G, first pack goes to you. First pack in the box. Legendary cuts. Going, of course, for a cut signature. Some goodies here. Here's a uh, Kirk Gibson out of 75. Oh, it was horrendous. It really was gross. I actually took a picture, because I love my job so much, I took a picture of a roach that I found in my cube, my desk, and I took a picture and I posted it on Facebook. My cellmate. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, she's... <laughs> you like that? Yeah. She spilled the coffee out. Oh Guarantee that. She's also a, oh, like a, a big-time ping-pong pong player. Um, she's this Russian lady. She used to say she was maybe like in her 60s. She's like your typical grandma. She's really cool. And she used to go on these cruises all the time. And she used to like... She'd walk up and she would hustle you for ping pong. That's awesome. Yeah. Doug G, fourth spot for you. I can't imagine a spider the size of my hand. I wouldn't even want to squish it. I'd just be afraid of it. I had a napkin. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't get down like that. I need a napkin for No, him. but he's saying it was the size of his hand. Who said that? Eric. Oh, Eric. Ooh, damn. Like, like, what do you do there? I had one in my house. Because, uh, I, you know, spiders are good outside because they kill all the ants and some yeah. of the bugs. They eat them. They're good. Not in your car, though. Yeah. Yeah. They're just catching you off guard. Oh, Steven. There was, there's no inserts in there. There was nothing. It's all base. I'm not afraid of spiders. I'll show you again. All base, though, brother. Yeah. If we get a hit, I'll show you. What? You got Billy Williams, Monty Irvin, Lefty Grove, and Ty Cobb, all base. I can tell because there's a decoy. If there's white in the middle, you know you got a hit. You never saw arachnophobia, you should not see that. Here's a hit. So this is for Doug. Dennis, oh, Dave Stewart jersey. Anytime, Steven. All right, man. You still got uh, two more spots, and there's three more, uh, two more hits left. So we've been doing pretty well on these, I must say. All right, here's spot number seven for Jeff. All right. Uh, Ron Guidry at a 75. Not really worth much, but not a base. 
All right, Doug G, spot eight. Unless there's an auto in here, it's going to be all, all base. We got Boudreaux, YD4, Tony Gwynn out, K-Line. Steven G, you're up for two in a row. Spot nine, spot ten. Two more hits. Let's see if one of them is in here. No. Unless it's a regular sized auto. So you got Campanella, Ashburn, Perry Brock. I have no idea why we switched. You'll have to ask J5. There's the same um, thing. We just, it's what we got in spot there. Right? Yeah. Steven. Spot 10. Looks like all base. Uh, Ted Williams, Lou Gehrig, Ralph Kiner, Gary Carter. All right, so last two. Doug G. There should be two hits in here, unless we got shorted. Looks like we got shorted. Banks, Drysdale, Aparicio, Juan Marichal. And last, Eric Preston. There's a hit out of here for Eric. Let's hope it's a big one. No, it's going to be a jersey. It's probably a modern jersey. Dale, oh, Bob Horner. Oof. Not the best SP Legendary Cuts box we've opened. So we got a uh, jersey of uh, Bob Horner and another jersey, nondescript jersey, unfortunately. So that is SP Legendary Cuts. We're going to do the 2012 Tops Update.